Hey, it's your boy Vincenzo Gianni. Just chilling. Virginia. Manassas. Not really psyched about uh, having that as a location, but I guess it is what it is. Um, I wanted to get back into making more documentation as per uh, videos because I really like the fact that um, some people do listen, some people do care, and uh, I can reach out and still affect lives even at my weakest point. Um, I'm, I'm going to spit whatever's on the top of my head because honestly ever since I left New York, music has obviously not been the number one priority in my life and uh, I didn't realize how much I really needed it until I didn't have it. Uh, you know, one of them common scenarios where if, you know you don't know what you got until it's gone type of thing. But I don't know if this is going to rhyme. I don't know if it's going to make sense. I really don't, I really don't care. Uh, you know, I never really have been uh, one to worry about what other people think, so it is what it is. So I sit and I ponder the thought that everything that I bought was from my little girl. Because she's my world. She, I cry every time I even think about the way that the wind makes her hair twirl. The thing is, is that this world has never been anything but cruel to me. Every situation I've been in has been destructive to me. I have seen, I have lived, I have conquered, and I have been strong. And people think that I've done wrong, but I don't think that I've done wrong. Have you? Have you been a perfect angel in this world? Because I don't really think that you have. Until you understand what I mean to my little girl, listen, everything that I do, every place that I've gone, and everything that I've done to get where I am right now is gone. But one thing stays pertinent in my mind. It sits there and it twists and it grinds. And it makes me want to twist and keep grinding. Make money and make time and do things for my daughter because that's all that I got. I moved to Virginia and sacrificed everything that I had. Well, everything that I got. And I'm still sacrificing everything that I got. And it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, when they put me in my casket, it won't matter. The only thing that does matter is the love that I share with my daughter. The bond that I made. Since the day that she came to my way, the way she has made me change. Now most, most of the time I can bear through my emotion, but it's kind of like a roller coaster. Now nobody understands it. No, I don't understand it either. But the thing is, is I know why I'm here. And I spit ether. People don't really need to hear it. Because they already know. Because if you know Vin and you put the years in and you put the time in, then I guess you already know. See, the, why, the reason I flow is, is to get the emotions off of me and just let them roll. See, if I had wheels, I guess I would be rolling around like roller skates. But I don't really know where I'm going to go when I don't have money like Bill Gates. So I guess I'm just going to keep fighting. Fighting for what I know is right. And they say that you're a better person if you just do what's right. Well... I mean, there's a side of me that wants to lie to me and tell myself that it'll be okay. But I know that at the end of the day, no matter how high the horse I get on, I'm going to be knocked off by the end of the day. See, I look for the sun to show and shine bright. I look to know that everything's going to be alright. I listen to songs daily, trying to get rid of my stress daily. I'm hoping that God hears this and He comes out, reaches out and saves me. It's the only thing I haven't tried. I've only gone to church once, and the one time I did with my best friend, all I did was cry. Do you have any idea what that means? I don't either. And if I knew that, I guess I could explain it. If I knew that I had a problem, at least I'd be willing to change it. Now, people out here are not willing to change. They, re they rude, they ignorant, and think that they all got brains. They don't. It's not smart. You're not doing the right thing. You're just ignorant to life. You, you, you lack reality in your life. You don't understand what it's like. But the people I know do hold value, moral. They understand what I talk about. It doesn't matter if I talk around about or if I say it in a straight way, straightforward or not. I could say it backwards and they still understand what I'm about to say. See, you never know what you got till it's lost. 
Virginia will make you understand that everything in life comes with a cost. And everyone you know can be bought. I wasn't raised like that. Money is not the center of my evil. I believe that people are better than that. And all they do is let money corrupt them and make them evil. Well, I mean, it's been going on for hundreds of years. And people seem to think that they can weigh themselves out by the amount of peers that they have. Or the amount of years of experience they have. Or the amount of money they spent on their degree. But in all actuality, that degree means nothing. It means that you went to school and you learned something. Yes. It means that you could get a job on a better pay scale than I can. Yes. But there's one thing you will always regret. It'll never make you who you are. Not the person, not the money, not even the car. You could drive a Benz, a Beamer, a Lexus, it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, you still Joe Matter. It is what it is. Signing off, Vincenzo Gianni.